the first few pieces that we purchased were local artists that we didn't know much about. CJ introduced them to us through their art. And then there, she began representing pieces of people we knew personally. And that was a game changer for us. We got to purchase art that was produced by people that we had grown up with or people that we had met. That was uh, something that made it very special. And we've continued to collect art from those folks. And now she's expanding our horizons even more by introducing us to artists who are local that we hadn't met before. CJ is very down to earth. She is a low pressure person. She knows what we like. She knows our, our space and she doesn't hesitate to reach out and you know, ask if we're interested. And she's also okay if we're not. I want to make people comfortable because I want them to ultimately own and live with art. I, my job is to help build art collections. That's what I like to do. So sometimes people have bought their very first piece of art with me. You will find a space if you love the piece and, it, and it's affordable. That's another thing. I don't like when people overextend themselves. Then quite frankly, they're gonna probably hate the painting shy away from buying art again. I want them to feel so good about it. And it is addictive though. You know, once you start to really follow an artist, maybe you've met them, you become a part of their story. When you buy one of their pieces, he's the only person in the world that could create this this way, like that, this one time. And you're the only person that owns that.